Hi, my name is Kim Cullen and I'm a personal injury attorney in Winter Park, Florida. A big part of our jobs as personal injury attorneys is trying to get our, uh, cases settled for our clients. Settling personal injury cases makes sense most times because not only does it provide certainty to both parties in terms of what the amount of the settlement might be versus uh, the unknown of a jury verdict, but it also helps each side avoid the time and massive expense that's associated, usually associated with litigation or putting a case into the court system. So almost every case that we handle features us issuing what we call a settlement demand. So a lot of people hear that term and they don't know exactly what it means, so I thought I would talk about it in this video. For us, a settlement demand is typically a package of information that we put together regarding our client's case, along with a narrative letter, usually a letter uh, from us, explaining what it all means and why it means that our client's gonna win their case and why the insurance company or defendant ought to pay our client a lot of money. So typically involved in a demand, a settlement demand package would be medical records, any photographs or video that we have of the crash, property estimates, if, if it's a slip and fall case, it might be photographs of what it was that caused our client to slip or fall. You know, depending on the kind of case, obviously the information is gonna be different, but typically we put all this information together along with a persuasive, letter or email or whatever format it's in from us talking about what it all means and we send it to the insurance company. Along with that letter is typically a demand figure and that figure is uh, typically we expect it to be a, a starting off point or kicking off point in terms of negotiation. So very rarely do we ever expect defendants to pay a settlement demand. Sometimes they do and it's sometimes it's a great surprise to us but usually we, we consider it a starting off point. And then once the defendant t accepts our settlement demand and analyzes it, usually they make us an offer and then we go back and forth and try to haggle out a settlement of a case. One of the good things about settlement demands is they typically are inadmissible as evidence in court. So uh, whatever we, information we put in there and whatever numbers are, uh, are used in a settlement demand, typically a jury is not allowed to see those numbers and not allowed to know what they are. So if you have any questions about a settlement demand or how to do one or why we do them the way that we do them, please call me or my law partner, Robert Hemphill at 407-254-4901 or text us at 407-644-4444.